Hello, and welcome back. So this is my Factorio Atlantis playthrough. Last time we got a bunch of stuff done. We've got power going, um, we've made this little factory that does red and green science and has a shop. Um, and we just need to uh, just spend this episode building some stuff out. I'd like to get oil going. That's the next thing. Um, And I'm not sure how much to handcraft and how much to actually do properly. So we'll, we'll find our way. All right, so this needs all the things. There we are. And there we are. I'm going to cap this. Oh, it's capped, great. All right, so we have most of the stuff, All right? Um, we're just doing all processing now, so I can't really set these machines up till that happens. Uh, what else? We are gonna need loads of boilers and steam engines, so we can get that set up now. Okay. So, boilers require stone furnaces. Here we are. And we're now in this wonderful situation of having materials, which is great. Okay, so this just requires stone. There we are. Then this is boilers, that's pipe and stone furnaces. Right, and then um, probably that one, I think that one's capped. Good, let's check. And I can't remember what these stack to, but we'll find out. Steam engines. Uh, so gears, pipes. Um, yeah, so pipes, gears, and plates. So quite high on iron. All right, let's take that. Um, maybe we can move this. I'll try and make this vaguely neat. Oh, it's going to have an output, so I'll move it up one. Okay. And again, uh, the rate of production of this doesn't really matter. Okay, why is this slow? We should have... Oh, because we're using slow inserters. All right. So, time for me to upgrade all the inserters here. Um, here. Okay. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to be a bit sparing about what I upgrade. Okay, that's better. And these are capped, yes they are. All right, we can upgrade pretty much everything here. Uh, we don't have any bonuses yet for um, how much material they can move in one swing. So uh, we need the extra arms just to get the throughput at the moment. There we go, and the same this side. I know these aren't actually doing anything currently, but better to upgrade it, and then it's there for when we do need it. Um, okay. Right. 
and then this is what are these limited by being fed all right so let's double up that um have to double up this as well and luckily we have steel path holes okay that should improve this a bit we'll make a proper platform building area later on um, all right what else we're gonna need quite a few chem plants and they are all the things, uh, gears, circuits, pipes, steel. Okay, so that's gears and circuits, pipe and steel. Great, this is capped to 10. Okay, so what I want to do is have this buffered up to a full stack. And a full stack is 80 steam engines and 40 boilers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So if we cap it to there. And the boilers are at 50 already, so that's more than 40, that's fine. All right, um, then the next thing is assembly machines. Assembly machine ones, and then assembly machine twos. Okay, let's Right, and these need gears and circuits. There. We're out of red arms. Whoops. Okay, and... Steel, isn't it? Yeah, steel. Okay, now this is very underpowered. Um, so, where can I copy a box? That's a good box. Um, this does not have enough um, arms to keep it going. Uh, but I don't really care. All right, that's plates and gears. Um, this is just gonna make a trickle of them in the background. Okay, what can we do next for research? Uh, let's continue with the things we definitely need. So sulfur, not gonna do red belts for now because if I allow it, I will do it. Plastics, advanced material processing. Um, may as well do lab speed, is that? Oh, that's a cheap one, so we'll do that, yep. Um, batteries. Explosives, because we need to clear some cliffs. Um, do we need Logistics 2 for anything? Yes, we need Logistics 2 to unlock uh, stack inserters and railways. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for now. Check this is capped, yep. So we should now be making these very slowly. And there we are, we have our first one. So that will buffer up. Um, when it does, I will then upgrade everything here to blues. All right, so um, can I make any pump jacks? I need some steel for that. And do I want to do it with a machine? The thing is, we've only got two wells, so it seems a bit ridiculous to do it with a machine. Okay, so I can make one, two. Um, the 
What else do we have? Uh, tanks. I'm going to need quite a few tanks. So I'm going to set up a, a maker for that. Okay, so tanks need iron and steel. Okay, let's put down more platform. Continue this down. All right, so this is going to make tanks, which is just iron and steel. Uh, so we've got chem plants, we've got assembly machines. Lights need copper coil, and for that we need copper. Ah, interesting. So we don't have a copper line currently. I'm going to bring copper in on the outside here. All right. So um, yeah, we'll do it that way. So I need. Go. All right, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I want to put a split here. Don't have any splits. So I've kind of broken my rule of having everything that I care about owning on um, on the quick bar, so I can see a total count splitters and the splitters. Oh, they've got no output. Well, that's ridiculous. All right, just grab that for now. We'll come back in a minute. So we're going to put a split here. It's going to go off there. And then we'll have to wiggle this around. There we go. All right. Okay, then I'm going to do something a little bit hinky. Um, actually, is there a, yeah, there's probably a better way to do this. Let's take that off. Um, a bit more platform, I think. We can always pull the platform up again afterwards. All right. And I'm going to use steel boxes for this. And the idea is we are just going to buffer up a lot of copper plates here. Now, the smelters will be running, the smelters can produce one yellow belt, but our consumption is very um, uneven. So by doing something like this, we can smooth out the consumption and production uh, except I need to fill both sides of the belt, don't I? All right, so. All right, let's find a better way to do this. So they're going onto there. Um, take that off. Okay. This is 
is one of those belt spaghetti challenges that I'm so terrible at. I want to bring this one this way. I want to bring that under here. I want to put this there, so I need more platform. Okay, and then this is dead ended. There we are. Okay, and then that's not quite right. Um, okay. And then I want to put in a bypass here so that it can. This is hideously over engineered, but it will do the job. All right, so one more splitter. Um... Here, the priority. The output priority is left, so it's going to prioritize putting it here. Okay, we should have made some splits now. Yep. Great, and then the input priority here is from the pass through. So we prioritize material going out here and we prioritize it coming in here. Yeah, and we could actually put a copper filter on this. That's it. Okay, then we don't have dead material on the belts. So this will just buffer up and it will buffer and buffer and buffer, uh, keep the smelters running. Um, and then when we need bursts of copper for things like red circuits later on, we've got it. Okay, so this is gonna be, how many things do I need coils for? I think I need them for a few things, uh, lamps and a few other things like that. So we'll, um, well anyway, let's just do it the lamps now. So if I put a machine there, this is going to be coils. This will be lamps. And um, oh, sorry. This will just require copper, won't it? So how do we get in? We need No, that's not actually close enough. We can pull it off a splitter as long as we underground out the way. There we are. All right, so this will go up, out, in. Um, okay, we're running out of room to put power poles. There we are.
And now we have lights. Wonderful. Okay. Let's pick up our tanks. Um, we have plenty of power. Okay, so... Um, those are steel poles. We've already done those. And this is the long-range poles. Let's do that, because we're going to need a, a ton of them um, later on. Okay. So, copper, steel, iron bar... Ah, actually, that's... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so... Oh, the copper needs to be here. So, we could actually do this. and then bring the underground up there. That works. And this is missing the iron bar and the steel. Um, I think I want four stacks of those. Um, we're just going to need a lot of big poles. Okay, so that's enough factorying, I think, for now. How am I? Yeah, I've got some tanks. I've got plenty of pumps and pipes. All right, uh, what else? Oh, refineries. Yeah, they're a pain to handcraft, so I'm going to make them. Um, so do we have platforms on here? No, let's put that there. All right. And this is gonna make refineries. Okay, so this requires absolutely everything. Pipes, bricks, circuits, gears, steel. Okay, so we need That. Um, we're going to need more platforming. Okay, let's grab more platform. Hopefully they're making faster now. That's a good. You can see we're just going to go through tons of this stuff. Um, Good. And there we have an output. So that will start making, let's check. Yeah, it is slowly getting everything that it needs. Great. Okay. Um, we'll grab those and upgrade everything in a minute. And let's go find our oil. So the reason I'm moving quite slowly is I've got alien biomes on and uh, some of the alien biomes surfaces affect your run speed, which is awesome. But it is really pretty. Right, now here are our two wells. And 
I wonder how we're going to cope with this. All right. So, uh, do I want to do, yeah, I think I'm going to do oil on this island, at least for now. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is uh, not because I'm gone completely mad. Um, it's because um, we only have the two pump jacks. And our use of oil, again, is going to be up and down. So I'd rather get the pump jacks building up a big buffer. Um, and then hopefully later on we can find more oil and do something about the big buffer. Okay. Uh, where are we? So I need some large power poles. Have we managed to make any? 26. That should be fine for now. Hopefully that should stretch us across. So let's head up to power and we will drag large power poles down to the South Island. Where's the best place? Where's... So, because of the mod I've got, power poles can actually be placed in water, which is quite nice. I'm going to make take advantage of that, I think. Whoops, let's try and get this. That. That's actually worked out pretty well. And we'll just bridge the last bit with a small pole. There we are, so we have oil being pumped. That's going pretty well. Okay, so the next step will be to set up a refinery here. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave that there for this episode. Um, we've done some fiddling around, but we've got oil pumping out the ground. And the plan next time is to actually get oil going. Uh, looking here, we have nowhere near enough copper coming in. And the reason is we put down only half the number of copper miners. Okay, so I will see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Um, Next time I'm going to tell you a bit about my plans, because I have plans. Um, but until then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.